Well, boys, what do we have here? Dude. What y'all got done at Elite Innovations? It's a 12 inch Cognito on a 2009 3500. Woo! Still needs 40s. So he's got 40s back there. And these are the street tires that he had on his previous lift, which, which was like a six inch lift. 30, 30 inch specialties, or 28s. Dude, that's some, that's a lot of money. And wheels. I'm gonna see how much bigger these tires are compared to the, we'll give you a break. whatever those are. Look at this, y'all. Bodies next to whatever these are. It looks like they could be like what, 37s? 30, <laughs> no, 33, 34. 33, 34. You said. That's what I assumed, but. You're wrong. Dude, that's gonna look. 35. That's gonna look really good because with the street tires, I don't like the way they look. But with the MTs. Like Alex said, he's gonna have. 30 inches of just 31. tire in the back. 31 inches. Or 15, 15, well, right? 31, yeah. So the 0.5. I can probably crack the key down a little bit. Nah, nah, dog. Oh, it's on both sides. Full send. Oh, yeah. Probably should turn the keys hey, down. I'll tell you what. It's on full. This swap with these spirits will look decent. Oh, yeah, homeboy. This is like sitting freaking 13, 14 inches up front. Yeah, more like, yeah, more like 14 inches up front. Look, can you walk under your mirror? Decent droop though on that upper arm, isn't it? Yeah, need to turn the keys down a little bit. It's touching the bump stop. Yeah. You do it. Oh, that's perfect. She can just walk right under. Oh, oh no. dude, Jimmy's truck. We could. Walk, I could walk right oh, under. Yeah. I had like that much room. Not as big as Jimmy's, but Jimmy's truck is just freaking massive. With oh. 40s, it might be about as big as Jimmy's, maybe. There you go. If you want to get your stuff done, you already know who to contact. Elite Innovations <clears throat> in North Augusta, South Carolina. We don't wear sunscreen. Yeah. Well, that's not Elite Innovations. That's just us going to Daytona. And if you need rock lights and wheel lights. Oh, Mondo, what did this guy want? What do you want? He wants 24 pieces. Oh, he yeah. To, he forgot to tell you. He forgot to tell me? So it's definitely been a couple of days since Daytona. So first things first, I need to wash the truck because it's still super filthy. I'm about five and a half hours away from Daytona. Two and a half hours of it was back roads in the dark. So I managed to hit like every single bug on the way. It sounded like it was raining to be honest because it was just like tick, 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 hitting bugs for two and a half hours. So the whole front end is covered and bugs it's uh completely disgusting and i don't know if you guys can tell but my tow hooks are pretty much completely faded it is no longer neon yellow it's more like light yellow at this point all the fluorescentness is pretty much all gone luckily everything else like all the accent pieces are still there or are still good only thing that's faded was whatever was under the direct sunlight so that's faded and uh, looks like that's kind of faded too. Those decals are definitely faded. Florida Sun definitely did some damage to those decals. At this point, they're pretty much whitish yellow. They're very, very, very light. What I'm going to do is we're definitely going to have to cut out another decal. And at this point, I might be clear coating the decal and possibly ceramic coat because I bought a $30 ceramic coat bottle. So I might ceramic coat the, the decal and um, I might be ceramic coating these two because I don't want these to fade. A lot of work replacing these decals. So I'm going to wash the truck and we'll probably ceramic coat this today. Luckily these components stay under the truck and they don't really get affected by the sun as much. Um, if the whole traction bar was neon yellow then yeah it would fade a good bit but all these are kind of hidden so i still kind of want to ceramic coat these just because i don't want it to fade decals definitely took some damage and the tow hooks definitely took some damage so i gotta undo the tow hooks uh, we're gonna have to repowder coat it well, i'm gonna sandblast it this time because if you look it's still red underneath it you can tell right here because we chipped the powder a little bit 
So we are going to completely sand it to bare metal, powder coat it neon yellow. We're gonna use the clear powder coat, like clear coat powder coat, and then possibly even spray paint clear on top, and then ceramic coat it. That might be a little overkill, but I want this to stay neon yellow for as long as possible. All right, fam, we got her all shined up. And one thing I did notice is, I guess this GM grill is not meant for pressure washing because it's chipped right there where it's flaking off. And it's also flaking off right here. So this grill is about to be a chrome grill, which is not what I want because we're going for that murdered out look. So looks like what we're gonna have to do is remove this or take the grill off down the line and we're just gonna have to paint it black uh, and we're gonna have to paint that black as well so i guess we're just gonna have a completely murdered out front end uh, with the exception of the tow hooks all right let's go ahead and turn the ac seats turn the ac on a little bit obviously the truck is not actually ruined unlike some of the people that went to daytona some of the people that did like burnouts and their leaf springs popped out and uh, drive shafts broke or whatever nothing like that happened thankfully everyone in our group made it there and back safely nothing broke down nothing bad happened so we are super thankful for that trip went very smoothly it could have gone really bad nobody's truck broke down we had a great time cows fading and the tow hooks fading that's really nothing. But as for right now, we are headed up to North Augusta, South Carolina to head over to the barbecue barn to meet up with Mark. He hasn't seen this truck yet, so we're gonna show him this truck, eat some good barbecue. Be careful with that thing. I know, I gotta be careful with the Gen Y. What's up, Mark? What's up, man? First time seeing the truck, huh? Yes, sir. Looks good, man. Appreciate it. Yep, about it, like you said. It's a little shorter than yours, a little lower than yours. Yeah, but it's leveled out. Really? No, I got a, I got a little two inch, two inch yeah. squat. Yeah, look at that mullet. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, got the got the vanilla ice. That's ice. right. <laughs> so I will say, my hooks already faded. Can you tell? You can tell, yeah, right? right yeah, looking. So we got to repowder that, and we're gonna put clear coat over that powder, and then we're gonna put. I might spray it with actual clear coat, like paint. Yeah, spray. That's what's telling you. Brad said it don't matte both. Yeah. And if you're sitting in the sun. It's gonna be completely washed out, and it depends on how how um, how thick what's the, the powder was. The, the yeah. milling yell on it. We didn't strip it down either. We powdered, so it was red. Yeah. We were we were supposed to strip it down, but we didn't have time, so we powdered silver over it, and then powdered that over the silver. Okay. Wait. That's good, man. Coming down around, like, dang it. The beast, huh? Yeah, looks good. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you got it blacked out, see? Yeah. That's it. Plas Plasti dipped it last minute. Looks good. Not too I'm bad really for Plasti good. dip. No, no, I don't mm. want little stuff like that. Them wheels look good, them tires fit. Mm. Hey, it's perfect. Exactly how I want it. Looks Still kind of wish it was a little bigger, like a 10 to 12 inch kit. Do you? Still. Yeah, I guess I could agree with you on that. Right? Yeah. But then again, I also love how just this sits. It's not too big, I very agree. practical in my opinion. And the boosts are nice too. Oh yeah, you like the, yeah. you see the little sequential? That looks really good in there. I'm probably gonna have to end up doing some. I'm gonna do some more stuff. Oh, you gotta knock the cobwebs off mine. <laughs> Cause you wanna drive it. I did. Right now we are headed over to JW Motorsports Co. Wheel Lights facility or manufacturing facility, also known as Alex's Garage, everything for our wheel lights gets manufactured there. Currently it's out of stock because man, I thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been giving us. You guys love the wheel lights a lot. And as of right now, we just couldn't keep up with the demand, especially because we had to get our vehicles ready for Daytona. I didn't want to take any orders and not be able to provide any kind of product for you guys for two, three weeks. And also we were waiting on materials to come in and that's why on the website it is sold out hopefully we can get caught back up and have some wheel lights in stock for you guys to purchase it is going to be very limited so we'll find out when we get to alex's house just how many wheel lights we'll have available on our website to sell see anything else on the website that you like maybe a hat t-shirt feel free to grab something uh, i do appreciate every single one of you guys 
repping my merch. All right, so Alex, when we were in Daytona, he was at the, well, we were all at the Boost Auto Parts booth because my truck was at the hostel booth, which was right next to Boost Auto Parts. So he found out that Boost Auto Parts sells sequential switchbacks. While he was there, he ordered them because they did Daytona discount. So if you paid like in cash and while you were there, you got like 10, 15% off. So it's a pretty good deal. And then another cool thing is he got LED door handles, switchbacks as well. Oh, that looks sick. Let me see the handles lit up. Yeah, let's see the handles lit up and the mirror. Oh, that looks good. Damn. So I, I've seen these at night. They are ridiculously bright. They're almost too bright. I feel bad for people beside me in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the lane. Light, it'll light up the whole garage. Really? Yeah. And those are switchbacks too. So when you're turning, it actually turns amber, which I feel like it'll freak a lot of people out because they're driving and next thing you know, you see like bright amber lights flashing your way. But so how did they look when you're doing your turn signal? Ah, that looks good. I like that sequential. So what are you going to do with your old one? Sell it? For sale. For sale? All right, hit up Alex, Southern Showstopper. White door handles, 1418 Sierra for sale. Oh, it's the factory ones. Mm -hmm. Heck factory yeah. handles, no so scratches, if, nothing. So if anybody's got chrome or whatever that wants to get white ones, they're for sale as well. Make sure to hit them up. Super easy to install. Is it? The handles are. Not these. No, mm -hmm. the wiring is a pain because you have to run the wire from the tow mirror harness to the front door. That's not the problem, but you got to go through the grommet, through the, the door seal underneath, through the back door seal, to the back handle. That's the worst part, but it's worth it. Oh, it looks good. That, that's worth it. Yeah, that's true. Because, I mean, he got a really good discount, too. They were originally yeah, like 800 like, bucks or something. Thousand bucks for them. Thousand bucks. But Damn. for a four set, a thousand dollars, something like that. But then they were running a sale, it was like seven or eight hundred. But I found a coupon for twenty percent off on top of that, so I paid six thirty. Heck yeah! So I was like, I gotta pull the trigger. Oh yeah, for sure. And he went back to his factory headlights. Um, the Alpha X ones look really good. However, Hyper Flash and now it's too bougie. If, if you can fix Hyper Flash, I'll run them. It looks like the LEDs are going out on the factory ones. No, I broke it. You broke it. <laughs> so the the uh, plastic lens right here yeah. on the inside. I chipped it, and so I, I JB welded it back in place so that LED doesn't reflect perfectly. Ah. There's some defects in it, but they still look good. Hey, Holden wants to buy them from you, though. But he doesn't need to know. Yeah. I'm sure Phil can maybe fix them. What I like about the factory headlights is that the white, mm -hmm. this matches the door handles and the mirrors better than Alpha X white does. I don't know. While they're working on a fix, I say we send off your Alpha X to Phil and get them color matched. I'm just worried if they don't fix them, I don't want to have a set of oh, that's true. headlights. I'm sure somebody will buy them. We know, we know plenty of people Donnie with Donnie runs truck. Hyper Flash. That's right. Donnie accepts it. But that's weird because I know a couple people that have the Alpha X headlights on the 2500 mm -hmm. with the 1500 harness, and theirs don't Hyper Flash. So I did what you said. I unplugged the boost, the fog light thing. Yeah. That didn't fix it. That didn't fix it. I installed the resistors. That didn't fix it. And let me show you the headlight. I wonder there. what it would be then. If you look, they actually already have resistors built into them. Hmm. The same thing they sent me is what's mounted to the headlight already. That's the resistor. They so they sent that to you? Or well, they gave it to me at the Daytona. Okay. So if you see it, it's got it's the resistor plugs into the negative and then to the turn signal, which is mm -hmm. if you look on the back of the headlight, there she is. Oh, it's already built in. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Look at that. Same thing. So it's already got resistors. And it's still hyper flashing. Hmm. So, I don't know. Alpha Rex, if y'all can fix it, I'll run them. And here's the boost switchbacks. If anyone want to buy them, it's even in the even in the uh, package. What's that mirror lens that's in your garage right now? That's the one Stan gave me that he took off his truck. I was going to paint them, but I know they were amber. Uh... I was going to paint them and do the thin line. But I might, if nobody hits me up to buy these, I might paint these, see how they turn out, then paint the switchback. Let me see. You got smoke ones? Yeah. So the ones on my LOI are smoked, and I painted them. They look good. Sell that to Stan. I think Stan already got some new ones off of Amazon or something. Oh, sell them the Boost Auto ones. Yeah. Amazon ones are junk. Yeah, these look good. But I just like the sequential. Yeah. Oh, you know what they should have done? Mid-South should have done sequential door handles. 
the company that makes those switchbacks, yeah. they make sequential strips. Huh. That have been even more of a pain to wire than another wire to That's add. true. More harness harnesses and mm -hmm. this cooler did well. Yeah. So I drilled a hole for the drain for this side. Yeah. <laughs> I went over too far. Oh. <laughs> so I gotta seal it. But can you tell if water's going in here? There was. There was? So whenever we had it down in Daytona, mm -hmm. I had a little bit of water coming out of the charge plug. Oh shoot. But every so the the amp is mounted at the very top. Okay. And then the battery's in the bottom. But the battery's so tall that water had to fill up to about right here for it to even affect the battery. Okay. So it's fine. It's just to let it drain and drill a hole in the bottom. She ain't perfect, but she works and she sounds good. And she holds ice. Hey, if you guys want, Alex can start selling them. Disclaimer, there is gonna there might they might leak. They, they might leak. So maybe it not. Will leak, but it looks good. It's still functional. Oh yeah. And it's loud. So here we are at the JW Motorsports Co. Wheel Lights manufacturing plant. <laughs> also powder coating plant and uh painting plant and what else do we do here woodworking woodworking basically everything you need any fabrication alex does it all so here we have some of the wheel lights that we're working on right now the lighting is so weird with the gopro i think it's the lighting in the garage but we should have actually no all of these are that we need to ship out so none of them are available yet but we ordered enough metal leds and everything for 20 sets so stay tuned we we will have 20 sets in stock hopefully what in the next couple weeks two weeks three weeks because the metal takes the metal takes the longest to get here the leds will be here thursday all right so i'll say two or three weeks and 20 wheel lights is a lot of manpower so give us a, give us a couple of weeks and then we'll have them ready all the little asians out there are going to be put to work i know all the mexicans and asians out there <laughs> Mondo! <laughs> that's Mondo, where, that's where Mondo's been. All right, so if we look in the back, that is for Matt's truck. We are installing JW Motorsports Co. Quad Row Wheel Lights on Matt's 2020 AT4. He is going to scrape in, scrape in the coast. He really wants to put them on, obviously, because he's seen how bright they are. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that content. I'm gonna do my best to be able to show you guys exactly how to install these wheel lights and to be able to wire them up, especially if you have rock lights. So stay tuned for that content. And like I said, we are doing our best to be able to restock the wheel lights. So please stay tuned on our website. Give us, give us a couple of weeks and I will have them available to purchase. I used to have them available to purchase and you just had to wait two to three weeks for the wheel lights to ship out. But with that, sometimes it would take three weeks to four weeks and I just didn't wanna make you guys wait any longer, especially if you've already paid me your money. I definitely don't wanna make you wait longer than you have to. As of right now, they're unavailable, but like I said, they will be available. You guys will all see it on YouTube first when they're, whenever they're gonna be available. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and please check out every video if you want kind of if you want to get an update on the wheel lights and when they're going to be available. So thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>